And here is my vintage Go Lion Voltron or Lion set, uh, which we had like over 30 years ago. And it's pretty banged up. It's literally useless. Nobody's gonna buy this set because it's, it's just highly depreciated and there's just nothing left to play with. But I kind of wanted to show you guys a snippet of our childhood. My brothers and I, when we were growing up, we had a Voltron. The Black Lion is the only one that's still kind of decent. So we're going to do him last. We're going to start with the other four lions legs. We've got the Blue Lion and the Yellow Lion. But let me just give a background what happened. They were all assembled and formed into Voltron and they were at the top shelf. The shelf is about six feet up high. And a couple years ago, we were cleaning the shelves and the thing literally dropped from a height of six feet and the ankles just shattered. And I, I don't know, I've never seen this one happen before. I guess the die cast wasn't as built tough as, as say Transformers, but the ankles die cast pieces, they just literally just shattered. And the springs flew out and this is, this is beyond repair. I, I don't think there's anything anymore you can do about it oh my goodness but i kept it i just i just couldn't bear to sell this i don't think anybody would buy it anyway there's no chance in hell it's going to be repaired but yeah so the blue lion had this one this one's still pretty good the chrome is still there that's that's her saber uh, which she gripped and had this weapon and that was it that was the blue lion the yellow lion had these spike blasters i thought it was a shield but actually in the show it was it blasted lasers and the reason I like the yellow line because it had a lot of cool gimmicks like this one. Um, his other weapon had missiles. They were actually firing missiles. It's, it's just busted right now. And his top blaster actually had... Uh, you could put a missile and it would actually fire. So that was pretty cool. Also, and we found this out late, the ears, they were actually hidden blasters. So I thought that was pretty cool. <laughs> And he had this uh, sort of like a sword as his uh, saber, as his mouth, mouth, mouth blade or saber. And then he would slash this way. So Hunk's lion was actually pretty good. So, okay, that's, that's the blue and yellow lion. Just trash right now. Okay, let's start with the green and red lion. These were like the biggest pain um, in, in the sets because the 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 fists were a rocket launching gimmick and they were like on a hair trigger you just move it and they would fire now this one's busted it's got it's broken so there's no way you could do that anymore there were the smallest lions uh the red lion i lost the uh the blaster on this one but the red lion had this one it's still pretty cool actually it still has that nice little chrome after all these years and like i said hair trigger the hands would launch and I thought that was pretty cool back in the day. And these were their mouth, mouth sabers. So, that, and then Pidge, Lance would have that, Pidge would have this. So, okay, so those are the red, green, yellow, and blue lion. Now, on to the black lion. The black lion, usually, if, this, this all came in a set, but if you've sold it separately, the black lion would have the shield, which is, again, busted beyond repair. And it would have the blazing sword. Dun, 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 dun. Form blazing sword. It was pretty cool. The black lion had these weapons. This was a blaster, I thought. This one was actually a rocket firing cannon. It was pretty cool as well. He's got a double bladed Darth Maul mouth saber. So she could slash in both ways. And the black lion had the head and the wings. And I thought that was pretty cool. It's kind of the biggest lion. In the team and this is probably the only one that's still working i mean this is the only decent one that's still in shape the die cast is still there it's not cracked up or anything like that the only thing broken about this one is the left ear for voltron and then this one this one's still working but this one broke very early on and man this toy had a lot of problems so if you're planning on getting one vintage mint forget it
chances are that thing's going to break down after a few times you play with it and these things are cost they, they're like a thousand dollars like 500 to a thousand dollars now the vintage mint in condition ones so my suggestion is just get the modern ones the modern adaptation of these ones which have better articulation even in combined mode and set you back about four hundred dollars or so so pretty cool the wings were there all right so they combined i don't know if i can actually show you how they combined because they're pretty banged up and i remember this one it went like this okay like that and usually the first thing to break uh, with this set is really the tails of the arms the red and green lions i mean it was really pointed spiky tails i mean why would you do that and that's the the adjoining port for the arms it would naturally just break apart i mean i don't understand why they made it that way so they oh okay they transform this way okay let me just if i can still combine them okay that way all right and the legs, I don't even know if it's even worth combining anything like that. God, it, it's literally just disintegrating in front of my eyes. Now this one's broken. We just, I think, super glued it or taped it back or something. Oh, okay. All right. And then you would connect it like this. Form arms and torso. Form legs and feet. Okay, like that the wings would stay here, and then Keith would say, and I'll form the head. He would do this, and then the ears would open up like that, and then the, this was my favorite part of Voltron, that the lion head would open up and reveal the Voltron head. I thought that was pretty cool. And I'll form the head. Dun, 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 and he would fight all the robots. <laughs> and yeah. So that's it. Yeah, it's it's pretty banged up. Not much to it. I mean, that's it. I would kill to get another one of this, but I don't think it's worth it. Um, I, I'd probably just save up for the modern one. Even the modern one. I'd, I don't know, I lost interest over the years, and maybe if I if I had money, I'd probably best use it for a Voltus Five Soul of Chagokin rather than this one. But uh, this was this was one of the highlights of childhood. We would play with Voltron. I loved the show, and the Lion Team was really uh, one of my favorite combiner robots, and we really had fun, as you can see with this toy. So there you go, folks. I hope you've enjoyed my little vintage toy video review. If you did, please let me know in the comment section what you think of my vintage Voltron. Have, did you have this set when you were a kid? Did you want to share some stories you had playing with this? And let me know in the comment section below. And as always, hit that notification bell so you never miss out on any of my latest video reviews. If it's your first time on this channel, please subscribe. This has been my vintage Go Lion set Voltron from the 1980s. Thanks for watching.